Hey everybody, welcome back to another Quartering Japan, where you get your hot, sexual, and much needed, desperately wanting news uh, when it comes to Japan. Now today, we're not really talking about news, but we are talking about hot and sexual. Uh, this is the second time I had to make this, because I forgot that the mic was muted <laughs> last time, so... But uh, anyway, you guys, uh, you know, some people, not everybody, but some people ask me, Hey, Papa Tikyo, you don't think she's hot. Daniel's ex-wife is not hot oh my god well what kind of women do you think are hot okay that's why i'm making these videos is because look you guys don't know hot women okay you just don't get it you don't get who is japanese asian and just hot and hey i'm a guy in japan with a fucking kanji bandana on who's overweight and has long blonde hair i'm super weeb so i know what i'm talking about here okay <laughs> so so anyway yeah we're going to talk about this girl named uh, fujiki yuki and uh she is she's just i like her she's down to earth and she is a she's one of those models she's one of those japanese swimsuit models but there's something different about her and we're going to get into that today but before everything else, I want to share a picture, uh, the not really related, but I thought was really funny uh, today. And it's offensive, so get ready to be offended. Um, bam. So I love it. It's I, I, so One of you guys shared this on, on the Discord. I love it. It says, I got my new sex rig all set up just looking for that special someone to enjoy it with me. And then the reply is, I've never seen a dream catcher with a nightmare in it before. <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry. Look, if you're overweight and you're a dude, it's cheating. I know. But if you're overweight and a woman, you got to, you know, you got to work harder, okay? Get some money or something. Okay, so so anyway, uh, yeah, with that being said, let's get into Yuki Fujiki, okay? Um, let's learn. Oh, so this is what she looks like, by the way. She's very, she very cute. I, she's the one on the left here, and she's just, ugh. I don't know why. I just I love that face. I love her body type. She is just so cute. And one thing you'll notice immediately about her Instagram is that she doesn't flaunt it. Like, you know, I I showed Rina Hashimoto in a previous video and she every picture of her is just her in her swimsuits, right? But this girl, she's it looks like she makes her her posts half for her friends, half for actually uh, the fans that watch her stuff. And uh, yeah, man, I mean, like, look, she's got some really nice sex videos here like look at that that just she looks good she she's just uh again she's kind of down to earth you know uh, i like the kind of just like normal not trying to sell an image kind of thing that she's got going on here uh let's see here it says also let's learn a little bit about her so uh fujiki yuki i love this kanji by the way this is one of my favorite kanjis in people's names i don't think i'd put it in my Japanese name, but I, I just love Fuji. This is a Caranthium. I don't know how to say that, but it's basically a, uh, the lily pad flower, and it's really, really beautiful kanji. Um, but anyway, uh, she was born in 1989 uh, on September 27th. Uh, she is a model, actress, swimsuit model, and she used to be a race queen, and she works for Feet Talent Office. What kind of fucking place names their talent off his feet like where's claytonian we need claytonian in here that's an old joke anyway uh she's from numazu she uh of uh from shizuoka and uh she graduated from kato gakuen uh high school and she was in the cheerleading club japan has cheerleading clubs i've never seen a high school that had cheerleading clubs but to be fair, I haven't gone to that many Japanese high schools, but uh, I love this. Her Adana, her uh, nickname is Yukina, or Yukina, Yukina, yeah, Yukina. So, um, anyway, that's her name. Uh, she comes from a family. She's got two uh, siblings. She's got a younger brother, younger sister. One of her hobbies is making um, snacks, going for walks, calligraphy, shit. She's like a fourth level black belt in calligraphy. Cool. Uh, she, before she was doing Race Queen, she was doing a thing called Patricia. Patricia. I don't know what the fuck that is. Maybe it's a pastry chef or something, but she was doing that. She said that she's really good at volleyball and cheerleading. Um, she likes to play the guitar. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Air guitar, too. Blah, 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 blah. And, uh, yeah, she is, so she was born in 
1989, so she's 31 years old now. Uh, she's O blood type. Uh, she's 160 centimeters, which is great. I love it. it. Doesn't say how much she weighs. Of course, it doesn't. And uh, yeah. Anyway, she, you can see from looking at this, she was a race queen for a while, for at least like what, uh, three full years. She was a race queen for all these different uh, sports teams or racing teams. And uh, that's pretty badass. And, um, and look at this. She went to all these different events for being a race queen. She's been on TV all these different times. Uh, she's been in a movie. Uh, she's been on radio. She's been on web TV series. She's done a ton of events. And look at this. She's done a ton of fucking magazine uh, pics, apparently. Fucking A, lady. Way to go. Uh, she has two full albums produced and one DVD produced. And, uh, yeah, as you can see by her Twitter, she's got 50,000 followers here. On her Instagram, she's got 80,000 followers. So she's not super big compared to all the other big swimsuit models at the moment. Because, again, she doesn't flaunt her stuff as much. Like, her... Um, her Instagram is more personal, and then on occasion, she'll be like, hey, look, this is me in a bikini. And, uh, yeah, you know, this is the Fit website. I guess this is for one of the, I don't know what that is. <laughs> and then you've got uh, her official blog, too. I love it how every Japanese person needs an Ame blog. I, if you guys don't know what Ame blog is, Ame blog is basically like, uh, it's like medium or, or something where it's a blog where celebrities and anybody, but mostly celebrities go to write their blog instead of making their own individual websites. They write their blog here. And, uh, I love it. Her, her blog is called Tonari no Fujiki san, which is a play on Tonari no Totoro, which is like my neighbor Totoro. And, uh, like I see, like you can see, you know, I love the short hair. I love the, I love the thin body type. And this blog, if you are trying to learn Japanese, this is a perfect blog to read because it's very, very, very simple sentences. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's fluff that she writes down, uh, for her fans. It's not, it's not super entertaining, but it is nice, especially if you're trying to learn Japanese. And also she's got, she's got creepers on YouTube going into her events and then just filming her. What kind of fucking, like, what is this like camera? You just put it on the side. Like, come on, dude, you're doing the whole like vertical camera thing, but you know, horizontally. But as you can tell, yeah, man, she looked good. She looked good and she know what she's doing. But anyway, uh, with that being said, uh, yeah, guys, tell me, what do you think about Fujiki Yuki? Is she your type? Ladies, is she, you know, what do you think about her? And, uh, yeah, um, if you have any other swimsuit models or anybody that you think I should be talking about, please put their name down in the comments below. And like always, please help us out with the, the algorithm and everything by smashing the like button, leaving a comment, sharing this on your social media. It doesn't matter if you got five viewers or what. Fucking share it and uh, tag uh, tag me in the thing uh, as Papa Tikyo. Put in the hashtag quartering Japan. And uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Don't forget to also follow me on social media. I'm posting new shit daily. And uh, if you'd like to learn awesome Japanese in order to talk to chicks like this, then consider signing up for my Japanese Patreon lessons over on patreon.com slash TikyoSam. It really helps support my channel. And, of course, you get something back by doing it. And, uh, anyway, I've been Papa Tikyo. This has been Quartering Japan. You guys stay black, and I'll see you on the next one. Yeah, buddy. Oh, chain. Oh, shit. So what I gotta do is gotta learn Japanese and talk with those Patreon lessons. Then I'm gonna message you from Fu Fujiki. I'm gonna be like, hey, you're my woman now. I love you. And she's gonna be like, oh, my God, Mi Amore. And I'm gonna be like, oh, shit, I don't know Italian. Fuck. And then we kiss. <laughs>